can you tell us a bit about your your football journey and how you ended up at, at Preston North End? Um, been here for three, four seasons now at the club. Uh, basically, just all started off with a trial. Uh, come over with uh, trials organised with Preston and with Blackburn Rovers. Um, didn't work out for me at Blackburn. Nothing really come of it, and was uh, fortunate enough to get the opportunity to to come here and play. So, had a two-year scholarship offered to me and, and took it and and played here since, or I've been at the club since then, so managed to earn myself a pro contract in my second year of YT and stuff, so yeah, that basically just from a trial a few years ago. And you're from uh, Victoria, I mean how did you get into football as a kid and where did you start playing? Started playing my local team, uh, Lang Warren, uh, played, oh, I think I was about four or five years old I think, my dad basically got me into it, my dad always played when he was younger. So I just started playing there, I was just down the road from my house, used to walk and stuff, so just played there for most of, most of my life as a kid and then um, went and played for Mornington, which is another club quite close uh, for a bit and a club called Danny Nong Thunder, so I played there before I uh, got the chance to be part of the Victorian Shooter Sport, um, which I think was about two years I was there um, and then had no, no real options to continue with my football at the level I wanted to in Australia. Um, and got off, that's when I come here for a trial and got off with Preston. So, from when I had my trial, I went back, played for Lang Warren again for a few few months before I come back over. And yeah, so I just started playing locally in a little, little town, Lang Warren. Yeah, so you've been at Preston over over three years now, nearly four. I mean, how's your, your time at the, the club been? Obviously, coming up from the junior ranks and now into the first team. Yeah, well, the club, uh, my time has been brilliant. Um, it's had a lot of change at the club. We've had, uh, we've, we've had a lot of change in. Um, staff and, and stuff like players and I think that's just that's a life of football sometimes it you know, change always happens so um, but no it's been good I've seen I've met made a lot of friends and and had a lot of great coaches and, and stuff like so it's been brilliant I've uh, I've really enjoyed it like youth team days were were spot on quite successful teams we won won the leagues won cups and and won reserve cups and stuff as well so it'd be nice to go to it with the first team now. And, and tell me a bit about your um, your first team debut in, I think it was 2010, you, you played in a 5-0 win over, over Stockport yeah, um, in the League Cup. Yeah, I still remember the manager at the time was Dan Ferguson. I still remember him just saying on Thursday, yeah, you'll, you'll be starting for the game on Saturday. And I was just like, couldn't believe it, got me chance and it was, it was good and to keep a clean sheet as well was an added bonus. But with the lads around me, they made me feel quite comfortable and I just felt quite relaxed and it was yeah, great to... Go out and wear the shirt. And you've been playing pretty regularly in the first team this year, I think 14 games so far, so things are going well. Yeah, it's, uh, I've played a lot of games in the last season and I've played quite a good few this season as well. Obviously you want to play every game that, that, that you possibly can, which would be great I haven't. Um, but that's been great to be part of things and um, played a few different positions as well, centre half and left back, right back, which is good. I'm just happy to be wherever I can on the pitch to be out there and be given the shirt. And where, yeah, obviously you're very versatile on the back line. Where have you got a, a preference? I mean, obviously to play is the main thing, but you know you prefer central defence. Yeah, my preference is centre half. Definitely, of uh, I definitely feel more comfortable there. And um, but so I, I do, I do like don't mind playing anywhere left back, right back. But my preferred position is definitely centre half. And um, what's your your highlight been at Preston so far? I mean, um, I was reading up about you, you scored an equaliser against MK Dons on. Uh, on Sir Tom Finney Day? That is up there, definitely. Uh, it was a massive day for the club, celebrating uh, a legend of the club, Tom Finney. It was his 90th birthday, and the, just the atmosphere around the place was, was different to sort of other games. And that was scored my first senior goal, and it was in the 90th minute as well to be the equaliser. So um, it sort of felt like a win scoring a goal like that, but it wasn't. So that would definitely be a highlight. Um, there's, there's a lot of highlights, but that would, that would be up there with one of them. At the moment, Preston, you're 14th on the table in League One. How's, how's this season been so far for the club? It's for, for us on the stands we set ourselves, it's not where we want to be. Um, we want to be at the top of the table. That's, that's how we are, that's how the lads are, that's how, that's how the, our place is. So. Yeah, well, we're obviously we're definitely not happy where we are at the mo moment, but we're, uh, our performances and stuff and, uh, are definitely getting better. Um, and results will come. Uh, we're, we're, we're becoming a lot harder to beat and stuff like that and I'm sure a run of games will come together because we are doing the hard work. And it, yeah, So not happy where we are, not where we want to be, but we're in the right direction.
And obviously when you were young, you've, you played for the Joeys. How, how did you find that? Yeah, that was quite a while ago now. That was a great experience, obviously, to represent your country at a young level. It was just brilliant. Got to play, obviously, what a class is the best in the country. So it was good. Met a lot of friends and still keep in touch with a few, uh, a few of the lads now. So, but it was, it was great experiences. Get to travel, play against other, other countries. And yeah, no, that, that, that was a great experience. Is it, is it your goal to, to play more international football? Yeah, in the future, you're obviously still very young, only, only 20. Yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd love to represent Australia again at whatever level it is. If the opportunity comes, I'd, I'd love, I'd love for, well, I'd love to take it definitely. Um, but I'll just concentrate my football and, and keep focusing on playing well and putting the performances and work, performances in. And I'm sure um, if I do that, then I'll always have them thinking and hopefully can put put something in the head to maybe think that I could get get the chance to play again. But I'll just concentrate on football here for the moment. And have you had any contact with, with FFA? Yeah, well, like, like, I haven't had any contact at all. Um, but that's not something that really goes through my head. I just think, I, I just go around about playing my football, doing my best and hoping that the team does well and that I can continue playing and doing well. So um, if you just do that, then I'm sure that the chance will eventually come. It's just if you, you've just got not to worry about it. You've been in the club, so I'm sure you know the, the history history of the club had a legend, an Aussie legend in, in Joe Marston playing here in the past. Is that something you're aware of? The club seems to be pretty yeah. big on its on its history because it's, it's got a proud history. Definitely aware of it, yeah. Um, you get to hear fans all the time. Or you, like, like John Morrison, like, they always ask you, do you know who he is? And uh, like, of course you do, you hear about him all the time and he's, he's an obvious legend at the club. The club's got a lot of legends and um, by the sounds of it, he was, he was up there with them. Um, obviously he's centre half as well. so. It'd be nice to follow his footsteps and, and be something like that, definitely. So you definitely do hear about it. You've also got Shane Cancel Sheriff here as well, another another Aussie. How's yeah, that? How's yeah, that Shane, going? No, it's nice. Uh, it's nice to have another Aussie here. When I first came over, there was another lad that came over the youth team. Um, he's no longer at the club, Cameron Parish. So it was nice to have another Aussie, but I haven't really had one since then. So Shane, I coming in, it's just those like little things we can have a bit of banter about. No one has a clue about a Vegemite. <laughs> the lads all know what a Vegemite is, but no one had a clue. No one likes it. But man, me and Shano, so no, it's, it's good to have a laugh with someone, and he's, he's a good lad, and he's obviously not a Melbourne boy, but it's all right. <laughs> Do you guys play in the defence much? I mean, obviously, yeah, he's a similar player in yourself. You can play at full back and, yeah. and in the centre as well. So have you, are you guys competing for a spot, or you've, you've played together in the back line a bit? Yeah, we've played together a few times. Obviously, we're always everyone's competing, everyone along the back line's competing for their positions. You can't afford to slip up, but yeah, we're all, when we, when we play together, obviously, you always give your best for each other, so um, yeah, we've played, played together a few times and uh, it's been good to play alongside him. You're off contract at the end of this season, what, what's your sort of goal or, or plan? Are you just sort of focusing on um, playing as many games as you can at the moment? My goal at the minute is just to play games, but to do well for the club and for the club to do well. I'm not really thinking into that sort of, like that far ahead, yeah, my contract's up the end of the year, but if you do well and the, and the club does well, then you're giving people something to think about, so... That's just what I'll concentrate on, on the football. Have you been following the A-League at all growing up in, you know, near Melbourne? Are you a, a Victory fan or, yeah? I'd have to say a Victory fan. Um, I was fortunate enough, before I come over here, uh, played a few friendly games for them, uh, like their pre-season games, uh, when Ernie Merrick was a manager. So I definitely have a soft, soft spot for Victory and I've got quite a few friends that still play for both Melbourne clubs and I still keep in touch with them now and then we have a chat and see how they're doing. Um, I do sometimes see highlights of their league on TV and when I get the chance and I see it's on, I'll watch it for a bit, but I don't follow it too much as such, but I'll, I'll always hear about it and if there's something there to read, I'll, I'll have a little look up on it because it's definitely a league that's growing and something that can be quite good. And what's your goals for the future? I mean, have you set targets in any leagues you particularly want to play in or you know, maybe later and towards the end of your career, would you like to come back and play in the A-League? My, my target is to play at the highest level possible and, and to see how far I can can push myself to see how good I can be sort of thing so whether well, that can be Champions League or whatever that's it could be some people might say it's unrealistic but who wouldn't want to be there at that level so Premier League Champions League and, and playing for your country would definitely be where you want to be and doing well at that level but um, obviously time will tell wouldn't it but yeah, some people think it's unrealistic but if you don't believe it then who will <laughs>